Well, like it or not, I guess this is speaking to me, our early snow and cold is likely here to stay. Local ski resorts, though, they are celebrating as the winter weather is only helping, of course, boost their business with an earlier start to the season. ABC 6 News reporter Megan Rystad takes us to Coffee Mill in Wabasha and found out what it takes to get this season really going early. And I always use the analogy of cake. We make the cake, Mother Nature puts the frosting on it. And this year, Mother Nature's already being generous with snow and cold. The weather forecasts say it's about 20 degrees colder. Uh, as soon as it gets cold enough, we uh, start making snow. At Coffee Mill, the snowmaking is starting early, with about 600,000 gallons of water pumping through snow machines every day, and about 10 million gallons throughout the entire season. It's compressed air and water. A big fan and shoots up into the air and falls as snow. After about a month of prepping 15 runs, three-person crews work in three shifts per day to get the slopes ready for skiing. And as for when the slopes will open... Well, at this point in the game, I don't have a definitive answer, <clears throat> but to kind of see how the week plays out, there's a, there's, there's a slight chance that it happened for this weekend, but I doubt it. Next weekend is, is more probable. But if Minnesota's weather history is any indication, it'll likely be sooner than later. Natural snowfall we typically don't get a whole lot like this, especially single digits with single digits. So, so it's a good thing um, to be able to start making snow a little bit earlier than what we normally can do. I have never ever wished for warmer weather, but just as long as it's warmer than last year. In Wabasha, Megan Rice at ABC 6 News. Around 10,000 guests ski and snowboard and at the slopes at Coffee Mill every single year. And over in Welch, Welch Village is also busy getting ready for the season. Those slopes there are expected to open by this Friday.